Hello YouTubers, it's Champion DJK coming at you again with another video. And today I got kind of a special one here. Um, I got a box in the mail today from Travis, Heavy Metal 164. Uh, most of y'all should know who he is. Most of y'all probably do know who he is. If you like uh, premium import diecast, he is definitely a channel to check out because he oftentimes shows some very... Uh, significantly interesting uh items of die cast definitely has a uh, good taste in some stuff it's a little it's a it's similar to mine but a little bit different than mine um he doesn't really do hot wheels too much but he does the import stuff quite a bit he does a lot of green light um some auto world and all that other stuff but anyway i got a box from him in the mail um now the majority of this stuff is been pr I purchased actually from the toy pimp uh which is local somewhat local to travis and uh he was uh, gracious enough to go ahead and pick some stuff up for me while he was there so um that being said he also did throw in a couple extras into this box which is just fantastic of him um so we're going to start with some of the kyosho uh so there's kyosho in here there is some tomika limited vintage neo and there is some konami and there is also uh, an Ertl um american muscle which uh travis threw in this is one of the cars that travis threw in right here this is a lotus europa it is a kyosho and it is quite awesome it is the proper color green which just looks lovely on this vehicle i love the wheels and tires on this car i think that just looks fantastic um detail as you'd expect from a kyosho so you get a fairly plain uh plastic base but you do get the prototypical wheels you get inserts for headlamps and tail lamps very very nicely detailed very very good looking vehicle let's zoom in even closer here take a closer look a little gold trim on there uh, just a great looking little car let me clean it up just a little bit but uh looks great is great awesome so happy to have that thank you very much travis for just tossing that thing at my way i really appreciate it so we'll roll that by this is a really good roller by the way too very very good roller just an awesome car i always uh pass this up on ebay even though i i see it a bunch and i kind of want one i just couldn't decide you know to pull the trigger on it so now i don't have to that is fantastic thank you so much all right so moving on we're going to stick with kyosho uh, the next thing we're going to take a look at is this Lamborghini Murcielago. Uh, let's see if I can zoom out just a little bit. So this thing is pretty cool, right? I think, is this not, wait, this may not actually be a Kyosho. No, I think, is it a Kyosho? There's a CMs. For some reason it looks like a CMs to me when I'm looking at it, but I think it's a Kyosho. It's a Kyosho. All right. <clears throat> I don't know why I second guessed it for a second. Um, but anyway, so this thing is pretty awesome. So this was per this was a purchase from the Toy Pimp, uh, which I got a great deal on this stuff through him. Plus, of course, didn't really have to pay shipping. Uh, he did tell me that this one had a slight little flaw on the, on the roof of the car. Uh, but that little paint flaw is really nothing too terrible. There's a little ding right there. Uh, but I got this at a, a really cheap price, so was glad to have it. And this looks wild and awesome in this green color. So again, typical Kyosho style. We've got lens detail, lens detail, a great amount of detail on the body, great looking wheels. Uh, the base is just basic and plastic, but really who stares at the bottom of their die cast all the time. But once we get to the Ertl American Muscle, that will be something to stare at as far as the base goes. And um, I think this is really cool. This is going to add to my Kyosho Lamborghini collection. I think it's quite awesome. And yeah, it's just a really cool piece. So I'm just getting more and more into this stuff, man. This premium detailed die cast. Uh, 
I just think it looks fantastic, and uh, I'm starting to really get into it. All right, so the next, I shouldn't say I'm starting to get into it. I kind of, I am into it. So, all right, so this next one is another Kyosho. This is a Skyline 2000 Turbo GTES. Um, we're going to go ahead and pull this out of this little bubble home. That's what it looks like on the base. Again, Kyosho, one screw on the base. Very easy to take apart, take off the base. And this thing is fantastic. I'm pretty sure Travis has one of these in red. Um, but really cool to get one for myself. And the wheels on this thing are just super cool. Uh, the car is super cool. Just great. Again, we'll tap back in. Look at that. So you get lens detail on the front and the back. Great amount of detail on the body. Per usual. Uh, plastic base. Metal body. Wheels look great and our prototypical 2000 GT Turbo Skyline. Look at that little small printing detail. That back end on this thing. Sorry for the shaky camera action, but that just looks awesome. So I really like this one. I had to have it. Got a good deal on this one too. Um, I haven't really seen this in my I don't when I hunt for Kyosho I usually go after a particular seller because I'm just a fan of him or her I guess I don't know if it's a him or her um, could possibly be a she but uh, <clears throat> but anyway when I when I check them out I haven't seen any like Japanese cars come up on his eBay page so I don't have any so it's really cool to get a Kyosho um, classic Japanese car so I think that is really awesome and uh, fantastic to have it. Thank you very much, Travis. All right. So next, what should we look at? Um, let's let's do this Ertl American Muscle real quick before we get to more of the other import stuff. Um, so these came out. This is sealed, actually. So I'm going to have to cut it open. Wow. I almost just chopped off my thumb. There's an insane amount of packaging to these. Let me zoom out for just a second. Okay, there is an absolute insane amount of packaging to these. So you got the cardboard outer piece. You've got a plastic insert on one side and the other side, and both of those are holding this suspended in the package. Okay. Then you got this uh, sweet looking acrylic case, which actually is very nice. It's got a mirrored finish on the bottom. Um, really nice looking case. I mean, one of the best acrylic cases you've ever seen come with die cast. And then that pops off, hopefully, okay, to reveal the car. And then the car is suspended inside of the case instead of screwed to the base. It is suspended by two little plastic bits. So this one, he also did feature on his channel when he got it. It is an Impala. And a pretty cool one at that. Uh, so this 1963 Chevy Impala. Uh, the wheel is like off the rim right there. We will fix that in a moment. But uh, check out the detail on this before I start closing things. So as you can obviously see, it's got an opening trunk and an opening hood. And wow. So, very detailed, very cool. Let's go ahead, check out the motor. These have some of the best detailed engines. Can you see that? Very cool. Look at the steering wheel in there. Get an interior shot, maybe. We'll see if we can get a better one. But uh, lens detail for headlights. Hood shuts proper. Very nice. Spare tire in the back. Trunk. Shuts pretty good. With some force, I think I can probably get it to shut straight down. Actually, that's pretty good. The base is super detailed and has separate pieces and stuff in here. There's a separate piece for the gas tank. There's a separate piece for the exhaust. It's all like kind of built up like a model kit. And they actually did make uh, model kits as well of these little cars that you could buy. 
kind of similar to your M2 style model kit. That's an interesting way that they did these white walls. Um, the white wall is actually not part of the tire. It is part of the rim. And then the tire is skinny to create the illusion uh, that it is a white wall tire, but it's actually a rubber, just a black rubber tire. And then the rim on the outside is painted white. That is kind of neat. I love these uh, Ertl Vintage American Muscle cars. Um, they aren't that easy to get cheap on the eBay. They usually are not that cheap. They have a handful of really cool castings and different variations of each casting. Um, so I'm really glad to get this one in black, this Impala in black. Thank you so much. This is another one that uh, Travis just kind of threw in the box for me, and I really appreciate it. Thank you very much for that one. That is a really cool piece. Um, probably won't be able to get a good look in that interior, but you can kind of see that there's silver on the steering wheel. Like, they're, it's painted. Um, the interior is painted like a two-tone. It is really awesome. And look at that tailpipe right there coming out of the bottom. I mean, come on. That's a pretty ins insane amount of detail for a little 164 scale car, you know, and definitely one of the best uh, brands is that vintage Ertl American Muscle. It was pretty short lived, and that's too, that's unfortunate. Uh, it would be cool to see some more. All right, next up, before oh, one more thing before we get to Konami, which is actually probably going to be the highlight of this video. This is a Tomica vintage, limited vintage Neo. It's an RX7. When he uh, put this up, is being available. Uh, to me uh, from the toy pimp for a very good price i thought you know what let me snag one i only have two other tomical limited vintage and this is how they come so you get this little plastic bubble that holds the car in place no package rub on there at all Just sitting there in place with the plastic and take the car out the, the weird thing about tomical limited vintage is these side mirrors come separate um, on this car especially, I am not going to put those on. I thought about it uh, before he sent it to me, like if I was going to put those on or not, and I simply decided that that is a bad idea once I seen them because there is no even holes on the side uh, where to guide you where exactly to put them, at least not any that I see. I mean, you can kind of see where they're supposed to go, which would be like right on that window bit, but yeah, we're not going to do that. Okay, so this is really cool. I am really happy to have this. So we got suspension, we got sprung suspension, prototypical wheels. It is metal on metal. That is metal, right? Yep. Yeah. Metal on metal. Highly detailed. Uh, the interior is just straight up black all over. Um, so not quite as detailed as like the vintage American Muscle, but this car is great. It is definitely my favorite. Um, version of the RX-7 and look how cool that is man so I had two choices I could have got this in yellow or silver for the same price uh, I could have also got it in red which would have been five bucks more and I decided you know what silver I think would be really cool to have so I got it in silver just a really fantastic car um, the only other thing I could maybe do without on these cars is they put these plates on these, uh, these blank white plates. I wish they would just put something in the plate. Um, it's a little attached piece right on the front there. Uh, I could do without it being on the front. If they were going to put it on the back, I think they should have put it on the back and actually made it belong to a state, put some fake license plate number on there. I think that would have been an added, a nice added detail for these things. But these things always come with these like blank white plates. Now I could make a small, very, very small clear decal and I could put that on there. That would be something that wouldn't be that difficult to do. but at the quality of these cars do you really want to start modifying them I don't all right so there is that and we're already at 14 minutes and we still got five cars to look at yet and some really cool ones all right so let's start with let's do another skyline so this is the Nissan Skyline GTR uh, 1973 um, Ken Murray Skyline this is a Konami. 
Um, this one is in pretty good shape. And it's a little dirty. That's about it. Now, the Toy Pimp does travel with these things, and I'm sure over time, traveling around, they get a little dirty. Um, but look at that suspension. That is so cool. Look the rear of that car. So, again, we get a silver car. It is very, it's actually quite dirty, it looks like. In here, there's some dust and stuff in here. Need to get some canned air, spray that out. It'll be good as new again, but you get lens detail in the front. You get lens detail in the back. Pretty basic base on these Konamis, which is normal, but you do get like rubber tires and sprung suspension. So these are constructed fairly close to the way I would say that the Tomica Limited Vintage stuff is. Yeah, there's even dust on this base. All right, so fairly close to the way that the Tomica Limited Vintage stuff is uh, constructed. It's just they don't have metal bases. Um, they don't come with little extra parts that you would need to glue on. They also don't come with those little plates, but this thing does have the plate in the back. But this is just really cool to get. Got it at a cheap price. And the suspension on these cars is amazing. Wheels are really cool, and just overall, can't really argue with it. It's it's pretty darn awesome. Not the greatest roller, that's okay. Could be because I just mashed on the suspension, but yep, pretty cool. This needs to be cleaned up a little bit, and uh, we'll have her looking just like new. So pretty awesome, awesome to get that. Thank you again. And let's see here. Next up, we got this is an RX7, 1978 RX7 in green. This is also a Konami. We'll go ahead and unscrew it from the base. Again, very cool suspension. Would be cool to deconstruct one of these cars and uh, see what it looks like on the inside. But they are riveted, so you can't just screw them apart and screw them back together. So it would, it would involve drilling one, so I don't foresee myself really doing that. But this thing is pretty cool. Again, correct wheels. This one does have inserts for tail lamps. Uh, those little things now. There's just painted with a reflective paint on the bumper. Interior is pretty detailed. That is pretty awesome, dude. It's almost the same color green as the Lambo. Pretty close, anyway. So, I saw that one. It just jumped out at me, so I had to get it. Again, really good price. I just love that these things have suspension. I mean, and they really bounce. So cool. So, really cool die cast. Thank you very much again for that one. And let's see here. Uh, next up, we got this. This is a Mazda Cosmos. This, by the way, this is how they're packaged. I actually have two sealed ones, it appears, that we're going to crack open. Uh, so I'm excited for that. I always love when we can rip up some packaging. This car I just thought looked really cool. This is a Mazda Cosmo 1975. It kind of looks like an older, um, what is that, Lamborghini Harama? Is that what it is? It almost looks like that car. Um, very, very cool. This one also, of course, it's Konami. So we got metal body, plastic base. It's got a little, looks like hairline crack in the back windscreen. So I'm not sure how he gets these or whatnot, or, you know, some of them feel like we. They're not quite brand new, but they are hard to get. They are definitely tough to get, like sealed in the package, these older ones. I'm not even really sure, and maybe Travis could clarify. I'm not 100% sure on when these um, came out, when these were actually available. Um, is there a copyright date on the bottom? It says 164 scale, approved by Mazda, made in China. Oh, here we go. Copyright date 2005. 
And the Konami logo, by the way, is the same Konami um, logo that you'd find for the video game manufacturer. So as far as I know, the people that develop video games, it might be the same company. That's odd, I know, but uh, definitely appears to be so. This one's got a great amount of detail. It looks awesome. Of course, the suspension is there, and I just think this car is so cool. So very cool. It's just different. It's different to get this kind of die cast into the collection. And definitely cherish this kind of stuff. I think it's really, really awesome. I've definitely been making a run on Kyosho, but now I've got me looking for Konami. TLV is definitely the, probably one of the, the best, you know, if not the best. They're just really, really expensive, so they're hard to get um, for me. They're just kind of out of the range. Um, but pretty awesome this car is. So that's really cool. Thank you very much for that one. I'm Mazda Cosmo. And then we got two we can open. Uh, let's do this one first. So this is the Suzuki Fronte, Fronte, Fronte Coupe GX 1971. Little car, wow. All right, so this is tiny. This is supposed to be 164 scale. So let's see if we can crack it open. So these open blisters, kind of tough to get here, and then it is screwed to the base inside the blister, so there you go, the bubble is open. Interesting way of packaging, and they also come packaged too, um, I think most of them came packaged in a box that looked like this, yeah, this is probably the box for that one. So there's the cars that were available on the side in this particular series zoom out a little bit take a look Konami volume 3 so they're made in China I'm not sure if these were probably just available in Japan I don't know if they're just available in China or whatnot I don't know so all I know is that the same company is the you know the old up up down down left right left right BA start or select start if you wanted to play with two players um, but this is pretty awesome. So we're going to go ahead and unscrew it from the base and take a look at this little tiny thing. So size-wise, if we're looking at true 164 scale, it almost looks like it's in like 187 scale. That is just crazy. Look at that little car. Zoom in a little bit. That could be accurate. That definitely could be. So I don't know if Ertl American Muscle is really 164 scale, but they're probably somewhat close. And look at this little thing. It is actually really cool. So this is an extra that he just tossed in. Again, we got the suspension, of course, that we know is there. We got uh, headlights. We got tail lights. Um, this thing, interestingly, uh, no, no, it is right-hand drive. I thought it was left-hand drive for a second. Um, it's a really cool little car. Let's see the copyright date. Copyright date on this one's also 2005. Okay, that is definitely interesting, weird, and cool. I definitely like oddball stuff, and this fits the bill totally. This is such a weird little car. I know nothing about the real car, so... I'm just throwing that out there right now. No clue. But man, this is fantastic. Again, fantastically detailed. And another Konami to add to the collection. So now I actually have one, two, three, four. Um, here's a fifth one we're going to take a look at right now. And then I have a sixth one that he had sent me way long time ago. This one is also sealed in the pack. Here. Busting open some Konami. This is cool. This is a Toyota Celica 1600 GT 1970 model. Definitely the coolest looking Celica model. Take a look around it. Wow, that is neat. That is so neat. Um, let's go ahead and unscrew it from the base. <laughs> this one might be the coolest one. The color 
is very pretty. Uh, when I saw this one, when he showed it to me, he's like, oh, check this one on sealed. You should totally get this one. I wasn't so sure at first, and then I saw it, like, in the sun, and the color just really popped, and I thought it looked really awesome. So I'm like, all right, I'll get it. I'll get that. Throw that one in there. So this one I purchased from the Toy Pimp. And it's got the uh, insert detail for the tail lamps. Actually, I think it's like a clear. Yeah, it's a clear insert across the across, across the back, including that GT. So the GT's got some depth in there. And then we got that plate hanging, kind of like a TLV. They're very close to, like, Atomic Olymp Limited Vintage level. They just don't have, you know, metal bases, which big deal. So they're lighter weight. But they got the suspension, you know, and I would fathom to guess that they're constructed fairly in the same fashion. They got inserted pieces in the front and the back that's similar to a uh, Atomic Limited Vintage. And, I mean, they got the detail. The detail is definitely there in these cars. I don't know. I think they look really good. All right, so that's going to be it. We went to 26 minutes on 10 cars. I think it was 10 cars. Yeah, 10 cars. So 10 awesome cars added to the collection. Again, thank you very much, Mr. Heavy Metal 164 and Toy Pimp. That car is so cool. Just kind of take a look. Should we like do a street view in honor of Mr. Heavy Metal 164? I'm just going to set them all up. So we take kind of a group shot here. Do, 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 do. That little car. That is such a little car. I think it's time for me to change up my poster board too here that I use as my uh, background. It's getting a little dirty. I don't want it to get dirty. All right. Let's take a look. Pull that off. Look at these cool cars, man! Lambo. That is sweet. Tell me which one out of these 10 cars is your favorite. What do you think is the coolest one? For me, it's tough to decide. I mean, that Mazda RX-7 is great. That one right there. Tomica Limited Vintage. Of course, you got to love it because it's very accurate and awesome. But between that and the rest, I don't know. It's really hard to pick. I really like this one. I like this Cosmo. I think that's great so all right guys that's gonna be it for this video thank you guys very much for watching thank you again travis thank you uh jeff toy pimp i really appreciate it you guys have a great day